Today I'm walking you through how I set up our memory binders for morning time. This is the Mead 5 Star Note Binder and check this out. It lays flat so it just makes it easy to use. I'll link to it down in the description. So I start off with our prayers and then I'm going to actually jump over to the computer and show you how I set up each of these sections. So these are all of our poems and I do let each kid decide what they want and then notice I'm setting it up by term and I, we do three terms and then again this is our term one usually this is scripture but I decided to we would memorize this prayer and then we've got our math and we've been using this particular page for a few years but like I'll write down when I don't remember the tune, like <laughs> this old man or jingle bells or whatever the tune is next to it. And then this is where our folks, folk songs will go, but we haven't selected those yet because I'm actually going to use probably the Ambleside Online selections. And then any type of speech or um, government document that we're going to read through for the year I will just go ahead and print it out or I'll print, I just print out as much of the memory stuff ahead of time. And then in the back, you can see I've got extra paper. So let's jump on to the computer and I can show you how I set this up. I'm Joy Cherick and I am a Charlotte Mason home educator. And on this channel, I do videos about Charlotte Mason homeschooling nature study and family life. So I like to use Google Drive. I find that it prints the easiest and it's just the easiest to manipulate and just share stuff and whatever I need. So here is my document that I use and I actually see here I've labeled it Poems and Scripture 2020, 2021 and I actually just copied the document from last year. So now I've just pulled over all the same formatting and then all my headings are the same from last year. So I like to break up our memory work into three terms. Everybody gets two poems per term, one one six week, one the second six week. As you can see, the formatting is pretty consistent. Some of it's a little bit, you know, it's not perfect. But I like to go over to whatever I like to use, biblegateway.com. And I will just copy the text that we're gonna memorize. Control C, since I have a PC. Then I take it over to this website, which is rapidtables.com, tools, notepad. You also will have a notepad on your computer. I have a graphic design background, and I understand that when you move text from one place to another, sometimes it'll retain the formatting of that first place. And that to me is really aggravating. So I will just drop it in here and this will just completely erase all of the formatting or anything that might stick to it from wherever I copied it. So I'll just get the text, I'll copy it all again, I'll hit Control C, and then I'll move it back into my document and I can just highlight it into here. And what it'll do is it'll pick up the formatting that I have here. See, it's exactly the same. Um, it's exactly the same font size and type, all of that. I wanted to also show you my morning time plans and how I set them up, which is I just create one page per term. So I just have three pages in this document, term one, term two, and term three. I have set up my workflow as far as what we will do first, what our priorities are for the day, and then for each week, I will actually just write down the name of the week. I'll print off six of these at a time. They're just all duplicates of themselves. And then for that week, I will put a check mark 
next to the things that we accomplish. That just kind of helps me keep track of what we've done and when we've done it that week because it does kind of, I, sometimes I just, I don't know where we are. So I need, this is my brain basically. So I have actually broken up our term and specified days for certain activities, days for particular read alouds. And this year, my read aloud section selection is much shorter. I have in the past had a lot more books that we're going through. But I think that this is actually a really good amount to do each day and throughout the week. And then this is where I keep track of my first graders daily work because I have to keep track of the first graders work whereas the older students who can read they can keep track for the most part you know they can have a, a list that they can read that's all for for today thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time